everybody, it's Jo- Hey everybody, it's Jasmine. So today I'm going to be doing my Walmart um, beauty box unboxing. I forgot what it was called. Um, partly because I actually threw away the box and you're probably also wondering why I don't look like my thumbnail picture. It's because I actually threw away the box and I accidentally deleted the footage because I was going to edit the footage last night and then I accidentally clicked delete instead of save and then I was like, oh my god. And so here I am trying to refilm it. I don't have the box with me because... <laughs> garbage day was yesterday and then I threw the box away so uh, here I am just trying to show you guys everything that I have and I actually don't have one item but then I'll talk about that later so basically what this is it's a subscription service where um, they give you boxes every I guess four months seasonally and it only charges five dollars so the Walmart beauty box is probably the cheapest subscription box you'll ever get I think it goes from Walmart being the cheapest then Target which is like seven to ten dollars I think that one kind of depends and then you know things like Birch box and Ipsy which is ten and then it kind of goes up from there um, you know I think with the more prestige items you know the beauty boxes can range like you know within twenty to thirty dollars so um, for Walmart I don't expect a lot but um, from what I got I think that it's well worth my five dollars and I didn't have to pay tax or shipping so it was just five dollars flat so that's really nice so enough with the babbling let's just start um, and talk about the product so the one thing that I threw away was actually a coupon um, it was for like something with like dentistry but then my sister works in a dental office so I, I didn't really need it you know I have my sister so uh, I kind of threw that one away but then if you are looking for you know some dental work or something something with dental care and you got the box then you might use that to your advantage I just happen to not need it so we're gonna go into the other items now I got the got to be ultra glued invincible styling gel and I use this just a little bit in my hair just to kind of tame my baby hair to see what that was like and at first like I applied it and it just felt like nothing in my hair but then after a few minutes it just felt like you know that feeling that you get when you haven't showered in a long time or haven't showered your hair in a long time and then you forget to dry shampoo your hair and then your hair feels a little bit greasy but then it kind of feels a little sticky and you don't know why. Uh, that kind of <laughs> makes my hair feel like that for some weird reason. Um, I don't know. I'm not really a huge gel person. If anything, I am that light hold uh, hairspray type of person. And I am actually, a matter of fact, not a fan of hair styling products. I'm more of a either oil or a deep conditioner type of person if I am going to style my hair um, or if I am going to put anything in my hair. So gel isn't really my forte but I mean if I need it at least I have it and it's going to be in a little travel size. Next thing that I got were these two shampoo and conditioners. These are by Pantene. Um, this is their uh, Dream Care Daily Moisture Renewal. Uh, little shampoo and conditioner and personally I am NOT a Pantene girl I am a herbal essence or a dove girl um, I just feel like Pantene Garnier uh, Aussie they just don't moisturize my hair enough I have pretty thick hair I don't know if you guys can even tell but it's really thick uh, sometimes it could be really really coarse and sometimes it could be really silky smooth so it's never consistent and so um, I just feel like Pantene also gives my hair a little bit of dryness for some weird reason like it makes my scalp uh, feel really stripped and I don't know um, which kind of Pantene line I used but I I could try this again see if it works see if it didn't so that's pretty cool that they gave me both the shampoo and conditioner um, I don't know I just thought that it would have been weird if they only gave me one uh, so that's pretty cool to try. Um, I'm excited to try it or if I'm not going to try it, I'm at least going to have it under my cabinet so that when I'm ready to travel, it's there for me. I don't have to, you know, go out to the store and get anything because it's conveniently here. The next thing that I got is something that I thought that was really cool. It was a sunscreen. Okay, that may be really basic, but I thought this was really cool because uh, this actually doesn't 
feel or smell like a sunscreen. This is the Banana Boat Dry Balance. Helps you feel dry and fresh, SPF 30. And it says it has a soft matte finish. It allows your skin to breathe easily and it's water resistant for 80 minutes. And I think it smells like as good as a Bath and Body Works lotion. Whoa. Uh, but uh, I think it smells really really good it feels like a regular lotion and it doesn't have that weird residue um, if I'm comparing it to one of my favorite sunscreens which is the Neutrogena sunscreen um, I just think that this Neutrogena one is a little bit more I want to say thicker in consistency while this one is uh, pretty thin and I don't think I don't remember ever having like a white cast with it on so let me just yeah, kind of it kind of gives you a little bit of a white cast, but I mean for the most part it kind of just soaks up into the skin like lotion um, Normally with sunscreens you just really have to rub it in but then this one is pretty effortless Which is what I really love about it It smells like it just smells like perfume or not perfume. That's kind of bad, but like fresh body wash Tropicana I don't know something really good I love it and the next thing that I got was actually lotion I I know that Angel loves this uh, this is just the Aveeno daily moisturizing lotion um, this is actually really good when I have really dry hands or really dry feet you know it's you know it's that time of year and um, I don't know it's just really good to have a small lotion small lotions like this actually I feel like kind of go a long way I don't know I feel like I get like three full body uses out of this so that's pretty cool the next thing that I have is something that I already use this was actually a two-pack so this is from eco tools this is their mask remover sponge and it's for a quick mess free removal and it's made with natural cellulose to wipe away mask and honestly this is actually really 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 bomb. I've tried it in the morning, at night, and it is just that really nice perfect consistency where you get a really light exfoliation to the face because it is a sponge and it really does take off the mask within seconds. And you know at first I was like mm, yeah like whatever but then once I actually used it I was like <laughs> Uh, can I get three more because this is actually really really good and I checked online how much it was and it's around two dollars So it's really really affordable and if you are an avid user of you know like clay mask or charcoal mask And you're like, oh my god I feel like I'm wasting water because I have to splash it on my face like a million times You might want to get one of these it's inexpensive and I'm pretty sure you could find it out Walmart because it's in the Walmart beauty box now speaking of masks they included a sheet mask. This is by Sue and it's their collagen essence mask and it says it's formulated with a special blend of vitamins provide an instant boost to the skin um, while supplying it with a plethora of nutrients. I love that word plethora. Um, but I'm really excited to try this because normally when I go for face mask I either get detoxing or moisturizing and I kind of feel like I neglect these masks that actually supply nutrients back to the skin and so I'm eager to try this out and I feel like everyone should at least have like one or two sheet masks in their house just to at least have you know when you're relaxing or you know like when you're stressed out and you just you just need your alone time just pop one of these on and then just create that bubble now the last thing that I got is this sample and it's by Real Techniques. This is their brush cleansing gel and I thought that this was actually a really big uh, sample because apparently you're supposed to mix this in with water. Yeah, and then you're supposed to swirl your brush in so I'm pretty sure that this can go a very long way And I'm pretty sure it can clean all my brushes if I wanted it to so I'm really excited to try this I was at Walmart the other day actually and then I saw the actual big size of this and the big full-size uh, brush cleanser is only seven dollars so that in itself is actually pretty good right now I've been using bar soap so um, I think I want to actually get myself something good for my brushes that will actually cleanse and moisturize them and condition them. So I'm eager to try this out and we will see how I like it. 
All right, you guys, I wrapped up this Walmart Beauty Box unboxing. I hope you guys really enjoyed. Please let me know if you want to see any more videos like this. Um, I actually have, like, this weird commitment issue because, like, if I don't know what I'm getting, I get kind of antsy and anxious, and I'm like, why am I spending my money on it? You know what I mean? Because beauty boxes, um, I think, are different for everybody, and so... What, what I got in my Walmart box may not be what you got in your Walmart Walmart box. But, I mean, with for $5, I don't think I can co really complain about what I got. I got a lot of things to try. Like, I'm probably going to find a use for this hair gel. I just need to learn how to style my hair with it. Um, I'm really excited to try to clean my brushes with this and I'm really excited to try everything else and so I think that this was actually a really good start to this whole unboxing experience for me so hopefully you guys really enjoyed and as always I love you guys and I'll see you guys in my next one bye peace out Girl Scouts